Animal extremists in the inland northwest made a bold statement, freeing over 1,000 minks from their cages. It happened Wednesday morning in Gifford, Washington, at a mink farm off Addie Gifford Road. KXY 4's Kylie Cruz traveled all the way to Gifford, Washington today and has a story about why these activists went to such great lengths to free these animals. We're here off Addie Gifford Road in Stevens County where animal activists entered Miller's Mink Ranch yesterday morning, destroying breeding information, opening three quarters of the cages, which resulted in letting about a thousand minks free. The minks that live in these barns are tiny creatures with very rich coats, and their fur seems to be the big controversy behind these animals. Fur industry is for fashion, for industry, for profit. And these animals have the right to live free. The North American Animal Liberation Group sent out a press release this morning saying anonymous liberationists opened up the gates and set these minks free. The group claims responsibility for other acts of liberation, including setting 40,000 salmon free in San Francisco Bay and freeing 2,000 other minks in recent weeks. Many times the fur industry will uh, make up statistics of how many animals are actually being killed. The fact of the matter is, is that 100% of the animals inside those fur farms will be murdered. The Stevens County Sheriff's Office says some of these minks live for a few years as breeders, but now they'll be harvested this year since the animal extremists mixed up the minks breeding information. The Sheriff's Department says this act is counterproductive since most minks only survive on their own for a couple of weeks after being released. But animal activists think this serves as a wake-up call. And what these individuals did was brave by freeing these animals from exploitation. And um, I congratulate the individuals who took action and risked their freedom and their lives to free others. The sheriff's office said 99% of the meeks have been recovered. As of now, they don't have any suspects in the case. In Stevens County, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4. HD News.